I'll be right up, Sarah. All right, now. Good night, Henry. Good night. trying to fool ourselves, Henry. We're just not the men we used to be. <laughs> By the size of that meal you packed away tonight, I'd say you hadn't changed in 40 years. <laughs> Funny how two people can start from the same point. Drift apart. It's the nature of the life process. There used to be a mutuality of understanding and admiration between us, Henry. Why is it, my old friend, that you've... you've moved so far away from me? No, well, all motion is relative, Matt. Maybe it's you who have moved away by standing still. If progress means abandoning God, Abandoning the faith of our fathers. I saw a demonstration of that faith tonight. It's a pretty deadly instrument, I'd say. What you saw was a reflection of the violence and hate in the world around them, Henry. Your world. But they're driven to it because their faith was challenged. These are simple people, Henry. Poor people. They work hard and they need to believe in something... something beautiful. They're seeking for something more perfect than what they have. Window shopping for heaven. And why do you want to take it away from me? And it's all they have. Like a golden chalice of hope. <laughs> ah, like my golden dancer. You know what? Golden dancer. She stood in the big side window in the general store at Wakeman, Ohio. I used to stand out on the street and say to myself, if I had Golden Dancer, I'd have everything in the world I ever wanted. <laughs> I was about seven years old at the time and a great judge of rocking horses. <laughs> golden Dancer had a bright red mane, blue eyes, and she was gold all over with purple spots. And when the sun hit her stirrup, she was a dazzling sight to behold. <laughs> but she was a week's wages for my father. So Golden Dancer and I always had a big plate glass window between us. And then, let's see, couldn't have been Christmas, it must have been my birthday. I woke in the morning and there was Golden Dancer at the foot of my bed. <sighs> Mom had skipped on the groceries and my father had worked nights for a month. <sighs> and I jumped into the saddle and I started to rock. <laughs> And it broke. Oh, split in two. The wood was rotten. The whole thing was put together with spit and sealing wax. All shine and no substance. And that's how I feel about that demonstration I saw tonight, Matt. All glitter and glamour. You say you're giving the people hope? I think you're stealing their hope. Oh, no, Henry. Ah, you... uh, as long as the prerequisite for that shining paradise is ignorance, bigotry, and hate. I said to hell with it.